You know when you don't want to watch but you just can't look away? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most awkward Ellen moments. You go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> No, you're, no, you'll steal stuff back there. Come here, this way. For this list, we're only considering uncomfortable moments with Ellen's celebrity guests, as there's only so much awkwardness we can handle in one list. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, when Wendy Williams told Ellen she looks like Justin Bieber. The animosity between these talk show hosts didn't go unnoticed by the viewers. You got renewed for three more years. Congratulations. Thank for, you. Uh, you. you. I'm grateful. Yeah. I mean, you're an OG in this game. You know what it is. Yeah, it's, you know. it's really amazing. I mean, as we know, talk shows come and go. To be able to stay on the air, it's a, it's a big deal. And if things weren't already uncomfortable enough, a game of heads up sent our cringe scale through the roof. So Wendy Williams is never too shy to give her opinions on anyone or anything, so we're going to play a special edition of Heads Up. Ellen would quickly regret joking about Wendy's unapologetic honesty after she found herself the subject of it, when Williams claimed that she looks like Justin Bieber. Um, as much as I want to not like him, I love his new song, and he really is cute. And some people say that he looks like you. I've heard that. You've never heard that? They say it in a good way. We can see that our host was clearly thrown by the comparison, but while the rest of us were left squirming in our seats, she just laughed it off like a pro. Number nine, when Celine Dion clapped back over her son's hair. The Canadian singer is normally easygoing and funny when she makes the talk show rounds. However, when Ellen took a jab at her son's hair, this mama bear was not impressed and instantly went on the defense. All right, well, it seems like you're busy with something because you're forgetting to cut your son's hair. Um, this yeah, is, right. look at him, he is beautiful, but look at his hair. When are you gonna cut that hair? Do you have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem. That is some long hair. After asking Ellen if she has a problem with her son's appearance, she proceeded to lay down the law about critiquing her child. You know, I have to say, it's amazing, right? You you cut your some people shave the, the head of their children. Uh-huh. And people say, Oh, isn't that terrible? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't even cut my son's hair, and they say, Oh my god, when is she gonna cut her son's hair? Right. You know? And as the atmosphere in the studio turned frosty, it's very obvious that Ellen has hit a nerve. Despite the host's best attempts to move the conversation along, the awkwardness continued to linger. Um, whatever I will do, mm -hmm. I won't please everyone. Right. But something that I can reassure every mother here, the long hair. Mm -hmm. Do you know that Rene Charles makes his own decisions most of the time? Rene Charles is your son. My son. son. Yeah. Number eight, when Ellen grilled Taylor Swift about her love life. She always asks me who I'm dating every time I'm on the show and I don't even know why. But it gets Swift's love life is a pretty well-covered topic thanks to her music, but that doesn't mean she can't set some boundaries. You were here with your boyfriend, Zac Efron, last time. How's he doing? Um, we actually never dated. Yes, you did. So when you... This wasn't the only time Ellen grilled the singer about her dating history, but it is the most uncomfortable to watch. Which song is about Zac on the new CD? Um, there's nothing really about Zac on the CD because we didn't, we didn't date. All right. So... Yeah. Okay. Ellen was relentless in quizzing Swift about who she's dated, even turning it into a game until Taylor finally cracked and demanded she stop. Stop it, stop it, stop. Oh, Okay, all right, all right. This makes me feel so bad about myself. Every time I come up here, you put like a different dude up there on the screen. And it just makes me really question like what I stand for as a human being. We can feel the awkwardness radiate through the TV, but somehow Ellen missed all the signals. And trust us, they're not all that subtle. Number seven, when Ryan Seacrest gave Ellen a birthday present. 
Everyone loves receiving presents, but when Ryan Seacrest gifted Ellen a bingo set for her 50th birthday, as a humorous jab at her age, little did he know it would become the gift that kept on giving. I, I know that you like to have game night and people over and you play poker, and I uh -huh. figured that that's dangerous at your age. Uh -huh. So let me help you with this. Go ahead. And I brought you something new we could start to play on the weekend. Yeah. So take a look at this. I think you'll oh, recognize. Oh, wow. It's bingo. That's right. Wow. Now, any bingo aficionado would know what an ink dauber is, but Seacrest was visibly startled by the object, and it doesn't take long before everyone realized what he was thinking. What's that? More gifts? I don't quite, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this moment was definitely more embarrassing for him than anyone else, but come on, man, it's a family show. What were you thinking? <laughs> Number six, the whole Jessica Simpson interview. This interview made us cringe so hard at the time, but has turned out to be so sad. When Jessica Simpson popped by to talk about her music and fashion line, things pretty much went off the rails from the moment she sat down. Very exciting. Uh, it's very exciting to I'm have- I'm not pregnant on your show. Are you sure you're not pregnant? I heard <laughs> that yes. you were pregnant. Am, oh gosh, no. Whether she was talking about relationships and pregnancies or mermaid parties, like Ellen, we were at a total loss for words at how quickly things took a turn for the bizarre. No, but seriously, how can he massage you when he's asleep? He's, I don't know, he's got his hands somehow find me. He's not asleep. Um. <laughs> but Simpson acknowledged in 2020 that she was actually drunk at the time as she wrestled with addiction. That put the cringe in a whole new tragic light. You're expanding, right? What are you gonna do now? We're always expanding. There's like. There's nothing out of reach. For so us. you're gonna, there's nothing you'd say no to? No. Number five, when Ellen forgot Katy Perry had been married. Do you go by uh, Mrs. Brand ever? Um, I do, actually. Sometimes when people try and get my attention, like if I'm at an event or something like that, and they want special attention, they go, Mrs. Brand. I'm like, <laughs> remember when Katy Perry married Russell Brand? Ellen didn't. In fact, when she announced a game called Will You Parry Me, the singer joked about not wanting to get married again, but she's just met with a blank stare from the host. Do anyway, I have to get married? Answer again! Yeah. <laughs> you got married? I was when I was 25. Were you? Yeah, it's to, been a long time, honey. To who? No wrinkles, no lines. To who? His name is Russell Brand. Oh, that's right, I forgot about Russell. Yeah. Perry awkwardly reminded her of her short-lived marriage to the British comedian, and even brought up the fact that she gave her wedding presents on the show. <laughs> That'll be cut out. All right. <laughs> You're right! Yeah, all right. Even audiences at home could feel the painfulness of this exchange, and people everywhere reached for the remote just to escape the awkwardness. Number four, when Ellen cooked with Giada De Laurentiis. And you got uh, some a lot of attention for the way you were clapping. Oh. Um, Ellen! And I, well, I'm just, I'm just, I, did, you, did you know ahead of time that you clapped in a different way? I don't clap like <laughs> I do not clap like that. Well, that is a weird lens. If Nicole Kidman thought reliving her bizarre Oscars clap would be the most uncomfortable moment in this episode, Giada De Laurentiis soon made us all forget about that with a rather bewildering cooking segment. Have you well, ever why didn't made I... any any kind of balls? ball before? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's Nicole. Have you made meatballs or anything? Just one. Go ahead. This is a family-friendly show. Okay, so look. Viewers were left unimpressed by her condescending and rude manner. And Kidman's side glances and eye rolls are about as subtle as the chef's tactlessness throughout the segment. Why do I even do a cooking segment? I don't even know why I bother. That sure is good. It's a little tough. It's a little... <laughs> tough. Clearly, Nicole had enough as she threw back some shade of her own. You know what they say, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Number three, when Ellen and Caitlyn Jenner discussed same-sex marriage. Caitlyn Jenner is a vocal advocate for LGBTQ plus rights. That is, until the subject of same-sex marriage. So you can imagine things got tense when the host broached the subject that is so obviously close to her heart. You've said you're Republican and... and is that a bad thing? Uh, yes, no, it's not, a, it's not, it, uh, look, I, the only you know. thing is, you know, a lot of Republicans, I don't want to speak for everyone, would vote against all the issues, you know, that you as a woman and you as a trans person right. would 
want someone to support. I, I agree with that in some cases. Jenner momentarily got defensive when Ellen pointed out that she's a Republican, but despite claiming that her views have now changed, Ellen doesn't seem to be convinced at all of that. If uh, that word marriage is really, really that important to you, I, I can go with it, you know? And it's, so, it's funny because you're, so you're still kind of a little not on board with it. As Ellen continued to challenge her guest, both sides managed to stay cool and composed. Marriage is an important word because marriage is marriage and equality is equality. So right. if we want the same word that everyone else has, it wouldn't be civil union, it wouldn't be, it would be. Right. Nevertheless, you could have cut the tension in the studio with a knife. Number two, Kanye's rant. This hip hop legend is notorious for his unpredictable behavior. And this is hardly the only time he's left his hosts at a loss for words. Have you regretted anything that you've tweeted? Nope. Nothing. <laughs> Never. You don't go, maybe I should have thought about that a little longer? What's the point of thinking? <laughs> During this interview, Kanye went on what can only be described as a monologue that lasted for around six minutes. I feel that if I had more resources, I could help more people. I have ideas that can make the human race existence within our hundred years better, period. His erratic train of thought was met by silence in the studio, and even Ellen knew there was nothing she could do to get this interview back on track. He concluded by apologizing for getting real on daytime television, and miraculously, Ellen actually managed to get in the final word. I'm sorry, daytime television. I'm sorry for the realness. <laughs> now, it's not daytime television anymore. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, when Dakota Johnson called Ellen out for missing her 30th birthday party. As we've seen already, Ellen's memory can get her into a lot of trouble. You turned 30. I did. And um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. When Ellen called out Dakota for not inviting her to her 30th birthday party, the actress doesn't miss a beat in shutting this false accusation down. Well, who doesn't want to be invited to a party? Well, I didn't even know you liked me. <laughs> <laughs> of course I like you. You knew I liked you. You've been on the show many times, and, and don't I show like? Yeah. Not only, it turned out, was Ellen invited, but she didn't even give a reason for not attending. Ask everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Jonathan, your producer. Who okay. said you were? I yeah, was invited? Right Why didn't I go? I don't know. Was it, was it, it, oh yeah, I had that thing. Um. <laughs> Dakota then told Ellen how her favorite comedian, Tig Notaro, performed at her party, and Ellen's face dropped instantly. Johnson then swooped in mercifully, or was it sharply, with an other than you. She's my favorite comedian. Yeah. Other than you. <laughs> Bye. Get ready to squirm in your seat. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.